Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the voice of Ogunia Chinemirim and um, this is the second video from the 9 days of consistency and value at work. And um, if this is the first time you're coming across any of my video, I would admonish that you check out my YouTube channel and um, catch up with some of the videos I've uploaded before now. The title of this video is um, how to choose the right font for your design. Okay, how to choose the right fonts for your design. And so, again, the name of this font is actually Fractural. Should in case you want to check it out. Okay, so I love to start by saying when choosing the font for your flyers or your poster. Okay, or let me simply put it like this when choosing the fonts, okay, for your print designs generally, consider readability and overall consider the team. Okay, what am I saying in essence? Consider readability. Can you see that? Okay, let me, okay, my taps. Okay, it's activated already. Can you see that? You can easily, okay, you can easily read through this, um, my, my thing, okay, like, this is the headline, right? How to choose the right fonts for your design. You can easily read through that, okay? You can easily read through that. So, always try as, mu as much as possible to opt for clear and legible fonts for your main text, okay? Legible here simply means fonts that are clear enough to be read. Okay, literally, that's what legible means. So now, highlighting the basic things you need to consider when choosing the right font for your design. This is where you have the easy to read, just like I've said already. Okay, pick fonts that people can easily understand and read. Okay, pick fonts that people can easily understand and read. See, hold on. I'm going to be showing you a cool trick towards the end of this video. Just hold on. After we cover six most basic things you need to consider hmm, when trying to pick the right font for your design. So, let's go to the second one very quickly. Fancy fonts in moderation. Use cool looking fonts for headings, but not too much. Okay? You can just use fonts like um, Sizzle, okay, for a start. Okay? You can just use fonts like Chinese Rocks. Okay? These are fancy fonts. Okay? But try as much as possible to limit it. Okay? So, for the easy to read fonts, there are fonts like Nexa, fonts like Montserrat, fonts like Mont, you know, like that, like that. You can just use just cool fonts. The goal is to pass across an information, don't forget that too quickly. Okay, now going to the third, um, third, third thing to consider to be considered when trying to choose your um, your font, okay, for your design. Okay, let your fonts, the fonts you want to pick, stand out, okay, with contrast. Make sure the font color stands out against the background. Yeah, this, this is one of the things to consider when you want to pick a color for your font, okay, for the font you want to use. Make sure that, hmm, make sure that. Whatever color you give that, you give that font. Okay, whatever color you give that font, the font should be able to stand out from, from the background. Okay, that's what's basically what contrast is about. The difference. Okay, so you know there there's difference between typeface. Okay, there's difference between type and uh, fonts. Okay, my bad. There's difference between type and font. So now, if you're using a font from a typeface, okay, if you're using the font from a typeface, you can choose to use. Uh, Let's use Montserrat for example. You can choose to use Montserrat Black or Montserrat Bold. Okay, the color you give that font, that very Montserrat Black or Montserrat Bold. Okay, you know there will be a few. The few will be different from the color you give uh, Montserrat Regular, Montserrat just Montserrat Light. You know, the few will be different. So now the font thing to be considered. The fourth point to be considered is to keep it steady. Stick to the, font, the same font style and size for a consistent look. Okay? When choosing a font, you can choose to limit yourself to just probably two or three fonts. Okay? From a type. Yeah, from a type. You can choose to stick to just maybe probably two or three fonts from a type, from a particular typeface. Okay? So, the goal is just to have a consistent look. Probably, if you want to say you're creating a church design, for instance, the, the type or the font you use for the venue, you try as much as possible to use that same font for the time, use the same font for the date. Okay? You want to be creative, yes, but then the goal is to pass across an information. Don't forget that too quickly. Alright? So now, the fifth I have is mix and match. Try out different font combinations to see what looks good together. Okay? This is where the place um, for creativity comes in. I do this a lot. I tell you, I do this a lot. This is why you have to, you know, um, go all out, okay, study font, okay, just go out, download, like, download as many fonts as you can, okay, you can just even download the family to have the different fonts under the typeface, alright, so now, the sixth point is, match the vibe, choose fonts that fit the flyer purpose and the people you are talking to, <laughs> 
but how do you get how do you get to choose fonts when you don't study fonts and know their names you know know their names know their styles no it's very it's very impossible right so now this is where you can also choose to mix and match or source for ideas now i'll show you how to source for this idea i'm talking about i'll show you very energy all right i'll show you how you can source for this idea all right so um i'll just turn on my data connection and um go to this app called pinterest very quickly this is a trick i'm talking about you will love this process stay with me you love this process say for instance you want to create a children oh there are two steps actually two ways actually you can do that there are two ways you can actually do that let's go with pinterest for yourself so let's say you want to create a children flyer probably back to school flyer you know those kind of stuff let's type back to school okay flyer design oh come on yeah so now can you see can you see the kind of fonts that this designer used here back to school more like the 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 the, the fonts or probably the fonts were sketched with um, a chalk i don't know all right but then you can choose to use playful fonts for this um this kind of layers okay you can choose to use playful fonts can you see this one can you see this um this is stylish fonts okay this is stylish fonts the designer made use of here and um this is another stylish fonts okay these are all stylish fonts okay this is this looks more like a regular font okay this looks more like a regular font but then i'm looking for a font that we can um oh i like this background i'll just quickly download it um i'm looking for okay let's make use of let's look for something simple okay all right so i'm going to make use of this one i'm going to make use of this one but then we can try out several designs right um you can choose to download this image but i'm not going to download the image rather i'm going to do a screenshot the reason is that um okay um let's just download the image let me just download the image and show you what i'm talking about now let's go for this one also um i'll download this one too and then i'll go to play store okay i'll go to play store this is my play store um i'll search for what the fonts okay this is the name of the app what's that font okay this is the app we're going to make use of so i'll close my camera okay the reason is this app okay this app you can choose to get the idea okay you can choose to get ideas of a font from um real life okay like for instance probably you're passing um you're passing on streets and you cite of um a poster okay or a banner or a billboard okay whichever one and then you like the fonts the designer used there you can quickly take a quick shot and um use this word the fonts app okay you can use the camera from this word the fonts app and um snap the okay take a quick shot of the um poster okay or banner whichever one and um quickly source for the font all right but this time we are going to be making you an image we got online from pinterest in particular so now after downloading the app you tap on open and this is the very first thing you get to see my camera is closed if not you have seen what's in real life in real time but now i'll go to my gallery okay you can you see that the images i downloaded are not in my gallery and there's no way i can probably change the folder or something okay so now here's what i'll do i'll go back to pinterest okay this is pinterest and um i'll take a quick screenshot okay i don't know it could be um an issue from my device okay but you can choose to try this first method out like you download the flyer okay download the flyer and um try checking for it with um with what the fonts app okay so now i'll take a screenshot of this one too okay a quick screenshot and then i'll go back go back to uh what the fonts app and then go to my gallery this time so now this is it that's the first one right so now to allow the app this is what you do just tap on the design and the app will automatically load okay after loading this is what we have we have school right back and school i i think those um, they use the, the design i use the same for so just tap on school and um click on this icon here go all right so just give it time to load all right can you see that we have our fonts ideas okay we have similar font this is what the app will do the app will give you similar fonts okay many times if you not get if you not get the font like the very font the designer used the app will suggest similar fonts do you get the app will suggest similar fonts now you can see that we have fonts yokon length vintage double potter p5 we have vinyl 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 2 we have fonts you know 
like that like that like that and um if you see this happening a lot okay like this vinyl regular fonts you can the app suggested the fonts i think different fonts okay under the same type fonts you can should be a type and um yeah fonts the fonts you can will be a type and fonts you can um lined vintage will be the fonts under that type of face okay i don't know if you get but then that's it after doing all of this you can just if you want to use this exact fonts for your okay back to school flyer design if you want to use this exact fonts for your back to school flyer or probably go through the other suggestion and probably get the one you like the best you can use that i like this one too okay it has a playful a playful feel especially if you're creating the back to school for you know children um on the student who has in primary school right so now you can okay we have the we have the name of the fonts right we have road range okay road rage yeah and then you go to your chrome browser and you search for road rage font download all right this is it and then you get it you can choose to download from um that font okay this is it no 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 this is not the font this is not the font okay you can choose to download from any of these websites okay just download um just oh, oh dear road rage oh road rage rob i missed that okay let's go back let's go back all right we're back um i'll change it to rob and this is what we have okay road rage rob and um yeah can you see yeah this is it this is how the fonts will look like okay this is how the fonts will look like after you download then you can choose to download the um zip file okay download the zip file and um unzip using the archiver all right it's not difficult now you see our font is already downloaded um and i cannot start uh you know start explaining how to extract fonts okay and bring it to our pixel lab app okay and this is also applicable for pc designers okay who want to get font ideas they can download these fonts probably in ttf or otf format and also okay you can see that this one is in ttf format okay there are otf formats too and um, you can choose to download it and bring it into your um software okay so now the second idea and also one of the um quick way if you don't want to go through all this process of you know screenshotting from um, pinterest and bringing it to your what the fonts like that like that and finally coming to chrome to download it will be stressful right so now you can choose to go to chat gbt okay or chrome browser whichever one chrome browser can still work all right so now this is chat gbt is a free um okay it's not like a website but then i'm using the um the app okay it's an ai you get to ask him questions and you get your responses back now i'll say hello gbt okay that's I, I just do crazy things many times but then hello gbt and he will respond and be like hi how can i ask you like that now i'll say that i need i need names okay i need names of fonts okay i can use on a children children back to school back to school flyer okay and then we'll get our responses our response rather now you see comic sans ms okay dancing scripts school bell kg primary you know this is come on how can you not love chat gbt okay <laughs> this one's often uh often friendly and um whimsical and okay this one's often have a friendly and whimsical feel that can that can be stable for a children's oriented design can you see very easy right so now you can come to um chrome again and um search for comic sans okay oh comic sans fonts download and this is it we just download our fonts for free that's how you can get your fonts idea okay now with this we come to the end of this video of how to choose the right fonts for your design okay how to choose the right fonts for your design and um before you go please subscribe to this channel okay and um turn on the notification by clicking on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop another video not whenever i'm going to be dropping another video tomorrow and i need you to see it okay i need you to see that video you can't wait to see that video i tell you you love it all right so until tomorrow i'll see you again bye